I'm an everything person. I love sag. I oh. love I love the spinachy flavors. I love yeah, some roti. I love just all different kinds of things. I love a naan bread. A naan bread's like so elite. Like it goes with everything, doesn't it? Now Perry Perry joins me. Perry is, as you all know, such a prominent member of Little Mix. A lot of us 90s generation people, 2000 generation people just cannot get over those Little Mix hits. Thank you very much for joining us. And I have to say, Little Mix and now you have a big fan following in India. So it's about time you came and played some venues, Perry. Oh, I would love to. I would absolutely love to come to India. Like that would be so epic. I, I believe that. you're a, you're a big fan of Indian food, so half the battle is won. All you have to do is get on a on an airplane. I am. It's one of my favorite foods ever in the world. I love Indian food, so yeah, I would I would be in my dream elements in India. I think. Are you a tikka <laughs> person? Are you a naan person? Are you a dal person? What are you? I'm an everything person. I love sag. I oh. love I love the spinachy flavors. I love. Yeah, some roti. I love just all different kinds of things. I love a naan bread. A naan bread's like so elite. Like it goes with everything, doesn't it? it? Now, yeah, I love it. Yeah, all of I, the food. I know you're a true Indian food lover because you chose sag, away from all the tikkas <laughs> and the butter chickens. <laughs> yeah, no, I like the more like authentic Indian food. To be honest. <laughs> Lovely. I, I want to talk about "Forget About Us" before we come to tears. Such a beautiful song, and mm. m- most of it is filmed in a swimming pool. And <laughs> I- I- is that something that you decided with your team, or did the video m- uh, maker decide that he or she wanted it that way? I think the director kind of had a, a visual in his mind. For the first time ever in my life, I didn't know what I saw for this music video. I'm a very visual, creative person, and as soon as I'm writing a song or I hear a song, I can see the visual. But for some reason, forget about us. I just didn't see anything. Like I didn't know what I envisioned for it. And then a director called Jake Narva. He wrote a treatment, and he saw like beaches and sea and pool and like very like kind of almost like a road trip um, around Cape Town, which. When I saw it, I thought, you know what? Yeah, that that would be really nice. I'll I'll go for that. <laughs> and the song itself is such a heartbreak song. I mean, if you go through the lyrics, it talks about I heard you fell in love with somebody new. I mm. found somebody too. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, you know, do you remember the way we fell? And like everything froze with just one glance. There's just really, really beautiful lyrics. So, were you at a point when you wanted to do a love song? A love song about people, you know, falling apart. I think this concept, like this song, is so relatable in so many ways to all different people. I think whether it's a friendship or a relationship or a past, like just somebody who's been such a big moment in your life and they have such an impact on your life that it makes you who you are in the years to come. And it's kind of, I say it as like a happy, sad song. So I think it's kind of like, do I want to be back in that place with that person? No. Like, was it right for me? No, because we would have ended up. But I still don't ever want to forget it happened. Like, I don't think we should forget about any big part of our life, whether you regret them or not. I think they make you who you are at the end of the day. So I'm really grateful for all of my experiences. So, yeah. And the one that really gets gets me is bonfire smoke on your hoodie and I stole from your flat. <laughs> oh, no, all of us take some stuff away. <laughs> yeah, that's such an Ed Sheeran lyric, it I is. think. Yeah. It's so Ed Sheeran. <laughs> so for those of you who living under a rock, uh, it isn't actually a, a song that Ed Sheeran wrote. And then, Perry, did you have to work upon it, refine it, make it your own? Or did you just stick with the original Ed song and, and, and then go about the business? I spoke to Ed um, and I said, I love the song. I love the melodies. Um but I would like to change, just ever so slightly tweak some of the lyrics. Um, And he was absolutely fine with that. I think I just wanted to kind of like, in the lyric when I'm like, let's leave it buried where it was, but don't forget about us. Like I wanted that lyric in there because I feel like it really sets the tone that it's like, no, it's done. Like it's fully done. But 
I won't ever forget that it happened. So yeah, I just tweaked like little bits here or there and he was absolutely cool with that and he's so lovely and easy to work with. So yeah, we kind of did a little collaboration together to to get it to where it was. So you know he he finished his world tour, the last one, right mm-hmm. here in, in Mumbai, which is formerly known as Bombay, the city that I live in. Yeah. And we had almost a a lack of people, which is like a cricket stadium. I would say the size of Wembley. <laughs> really? Fill out. Fill out. It was crazy. It was a revolving stage. So we got to see him 360 degrees. But we were standing all around the stage. It was just a That's wonderful performance. That's so cool. I would love it. What is the fans like in India? Like when it's a live show, what 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 is it like? Are you like really like yeah? Yeah, yeah, kind of like the sports fans without the hooligans. We're we're better behaved. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so cool. <laughs> I'd like to talk about tears. I mean, ever since you've dropped it, it's on high rotation on Radio One India across all our stations. People are just loving the song. Uh, talk to me about tears. Oh, thank you for playing it and supporting it. Um, yeah, tears is a song that was produced by um, Edo, who's really big in America. And it was written by Feli. I heard this song like a long time ago. I heard it like a few years ago and I just absolutely loved it. I thought it was really cool. I thought it like felt really nostalgic. It had a really cool sound and the production was like a bit more old school. And I don't think it's like really on the radio at the moment. So I just kind of felt connected to that song for some reason. I don't know. And then, yeah, I just recorded it. I loved it. And you know, the, the, the beauty about the song is uh, it just grows on you. You know, mm. un- unlike Forget About Us, which is like an instant there. Tears is the kind of song that you want to listen to more and more. And as you listen to it more and more, it gets very, very sticky, which is which is what I love about that. And another another beautiful video there. I've got to hand it to your fashion sense. Whoever did your clothes for that one, looking a million bucks, Perry, and uh, oh. some really snazzy costumes in there. Oh, thank you so much. I think you're so right, though. Like, you, you're absolutely right in forget about us was like a smash and it kind of hit you in the face and it was like there but tears is definitely a slow burner like i've heard that a lot that when you hear it you're like oh but the more you listen the more you start to love it and i think it's so catchy and it's the one song that sticks in my head so much like i constantly sing it that's lovely I'm, I'm going to do a bit of a rewind to the little mix days. I remember yes. when you guys broke onto the scene in 2011. And my God, I can't even believe that it's almost 15 years. And a cannonball hit. What a yep. beautiful... I mean, I, I, we know originally it was a Damien Rice song. But what mm-hmm. you guys did to it and the balladry of it and the powerful soaring ballad that it became with you girls yeah. must make you very nostalgic when you think about the making of that song. Yeah, gosh, I haven't thought about that song in so long. I actually haven't listened to that song in years. Um, but it did feel really big in the moment. I loved singing that song as well. It was so nice to sing. That's wonderful. And then we go to the very next year, Wings, which to me is almost like a rock song. <laughs> you know? It's got it's got that mojo, yeah. right? It's got it's that got- drive. Yeah. yeah. It's Would that be any- one of your favorites? Does it make it to the Perry solo list too? Yeah, I love Wings. Wills will Wings will always have a place in my heart. Like that felt so good to us. And it was number one for in the UK as well. It was like a big moment for us. It was great. <laughs> and then and then Black Magic. I'd like your comments on Black Magic. Another super number one. Uh, but you know, it was different in the sense, Perry, that you guys had back to back number ones in 2011 and 2012 with Cannonball and Wings. It was mm-hmm. like a three year hiatus before you had your next number one, which is Black Magic. I'm sure you guys were in the studio touring, but uh, when Black Magic finally hit number one, what are your memories? Oh gosh, it meant so much to us. I think we had like a bit of a situation where we didn't know in our careers where we stood. We were quite worried at that point. I remember we thought we were going to get dropped by our label and everything because things weren't going as good as they were at the beginning. And then we came out with Black Magic and it was number one for ages and it just did so good. Um, And it, yeah, I remember just feeling so happy and relieved that 
it got to number one and it was doing really well. 94.3 Radio 1.